Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow on VirtualBox. For this tutorial, we're going to need Oracle. We're going to need to install Oracle VirtualBox. So download it and install. All necessary links are in my website in the description box below. You're also going to need the Android ISO. In this case, I'm downloading the 64 bit, but you can also download the 32. Like I said earlier, both links are in the description box below. Once downloaded, it'll most likely be downloaded to your downloads folder. Now go ahead and run Oracle VirtualBox once installed. Click on new. Name your virtual machine. I'll name it Marshmallow. Now select Linux, other Linux under type and version. In this case, I'll select the 64 bit because that's the one I downloaded. But if you downloaded the 32, you can always select it. Once done, click on next. In this case, you can leave it default, but I recommend you assign at least a gig. Continue. Create a virtual hard disk now. VDI. Dynamically allocated. Here you can cl uh, click on create to finish uh, your VM, but I'll assign a little uh, more space to the hard drive. And also I have all my virtual machines on a different drive, so bear with me here. Okay, done. But like I said earlier, you can always click on create uh, with the default settings. Now make sure it's selected and click on settings, system, and pointing device, select PS2 mouse, and make sure hardware clock in UTC time is selected or checkmarked. Click on the processor tab and assign two processors to CPU. Now click on storage, click on the empty IDE, then click on the little disk icon and choose virtual optical disk file, which is the uh, ISO you just downloaded. Double click to select and click on OK. Once done, go ahead and start it. Now here select installed Android x86 to hard disk, the very bottom one. And using your arrow keys, select create modify partition and hit enter. Do you want to use GPT? Select no. And now here again, using the arrow keys, select new, hit enter, primary, hit enter again. And now select write and type the word yes and hit enter to start writing the partition table to disk. Once done, quit. And now select the uh, partition you just created, hit enter. File system ext4. Are you sure you want to format the partition SDA1? Yes. Do you want to install the bootloader Grub? Yes. Do you want to install EFI Grub2? Skip this. Do you want to install system directory as read and write? Yes. Now here select run Android. And from here on is self-explanatory. I'm going to fast forward this process. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.